Ah, glory to Vistu, see you right Vistu, and welcome back to the episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Indian Let's Play. So guys, we are rapidly approaching the end of this Let's Play of Awesomeness. Kind of sad in a way, kind of sad, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's sad to see something that you love so much go away. And honestly, I've loved this series from day one. It's had a much... Why not? Let's have more fascists in the place. They'll eventually change enough order to where I can actually do some more stuff. I mean, we have 30% of our people are fascists, and we still don't recognize them as a party. We are terrible people. <laughs> uh, I really don't care, though, because I don't. Uh, yeah. Just, I don't really care. So, yeah, our economy's still bustling. Our things are still rustling. We have our new, our new slave state of... Well, not really a slave state. That, that's not the word. I should say the state of the not. That helps us out through many, many times of greatness. Then we have all these other states, and you know, it kind of gets a little bit complex, but yeah, that's the world. So, guys, I think our final goal of the years is to finally get all these little states underneath our control. Because I've been, I've been very patient, as you guys know, and I've been trying my best to, uh, you know, do all this kind of stuff and do all this kind of stuff and influence and all that kind of jazz. But it honestly does, in, in, in all honesty, you guys have seen it, it's honestly nearly impossible. I almost guarantee it's almost is impossible to gain what we need. Because the British are somehow always on top of everything. I mean everything. There, there has not been one time I've ever seen them ever fail. I mean, literally, there's not been many times I've ever seen them fail. They are persistent, persistent, persistent. Guess that's why the British are usually the best in the game, but... Yeah, they aren't the best in military tech, which is why... Cuba is in revolution. So, Cuban nationalists. <laughs> Oh no, Cuban communists. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna soon be making lots of Castro jokes if they really do become communist. Uh, okay, so I, I see what I mean. I'm banned in that place. So what I'm, I think I'm gonna have to do, it pains me to do this, but I'm gonna have to actually go into war with these guys. So, we're gonna, basically what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna wait for an actual crisis to unfold. Cause I don't want to do this willy-nilly. This that would be stupid if I did this willy-nilly. Like, just go in and be like, Yeah, I want to get this region, I want to get that region. No, that'd be stupid. Oh, and Serbia got annexed by, by Austria. The irony, everyone! The irony! <laughs> uh, but yeah. I want to seriously... You know... It's basically time for me to reclaim all this land. And if I have to go in alone, by myself, against the most powerful nation in the world, I will. Because what you guys have always been saying is you guys should declare one of these little independent states. But the problem is, is that to do that, I'm going to have to first release them from, release them as a puppet. And then I'm going to have to, like, um, conquer them individually. Which, now that looking at this, it really does not take that much time. Which makes me wonder, why the heck did I not do that in the beginning? I think it's because I didn't have... Oh, my gosh, it's over. Hey, Soviets, would you like to be friends? Let's see. Would you guys would be friends? I really don't want to go to war with you guys. We and you are bros. We've been bros for a very long time. Like, I remember when we fought against the Chinese together. Well, actually, that wasn't you. That was the Russians. You guys actually did nothing to help me. Hmm. Well, having France and Germany work together. Well, I'm just thinking of this, guys, because I do want to... It is time. It is at the very end of the game. This is the kind of thing I was hoping that would happen at the very end of the game. So, I'm going to assume that at least one of my allies will be. And I will assume that one will always fall and try to kill me. Which is, I guess, the natural fact of but yeah, I think it's finally time for us to finally get that final iron of the British dogs. I want, I want this state, really. This is the one I'm really wanting. Because you know what, this is like six provinces that we have been denied this entire game. Like, just entire game, we've been denied it. Um, oh. bureaucrats here are finally, are finally doing stuff. Let's see. What was our administration for the CBD? Right here? Or right here? Okay. 
Craftsman. Oh my goodness, this took up 11%, really? Wow. Okay, we put some bio beds right here. So we need bio beds. Okay, but yeah. You know what I kind of mean, guys? I think it's time for the final showdown, in a sense. And... I guess... The dreaded World War III will happen. Wow, that's actually scary. That's scary. Okay, but yeah. Oh my, wow, we can respond to like killing bubbles so quickly now that we have like good shoots. Um, socialist damage. Oh, who cares? <laughs> I haven't really cared up to this point about what the socialists do. I don't think I'll be starting today. But yeah. Um, we know for a fact that we could probably take on. We could probably, if we had the Germans help, we could probably take on the Soviets. Because as we know, the Soviets collapsed from just having these guys attack them. So, and they're not exactly the most strongest people ever. I mean, let's be real here. They probably don't have that big of an army, and we could probably defeat them on this thing. We also still have an army over here that I didn't really deal with Djibouti. Djibouti. Oh yeah, we still have to be upgrading Djibouti. I completely forgot about you, Djibouti. There we go. Oh, I love you, Djibouti. Djibouti. Okay, but yeah, that, that's probably my favorite colony in this entire game, is Djibouti. No other colony compares to the might of Djibouti. But, yeah. It's finally time for us to finally take some of our And I probably will not be able to fight this before right now. I'm just gonna get it started now. Because I do have a life. As most of you guys think I don't. And I really do need on studies and education, education, and stuff like that, so, yeah. Well, we're gonna free the state of Brad. I mean, I have to hope that all my friends are gonna join in, because otherwise it's very... Okay. The France? I could deal with France joining. France would be a good ally. Everyone else should be joining. In. So let's see, everyone. Let's see who joins in. Mongolians betrayed me. Goodness, you guys are all traitors. Seriously. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so note to self. Never trust my militaristic might against against you guys. You guys are all traitors. The Indian British War. And it's against all these guys. So Wow. Well, I can finally go in and go take over these guys. Which is a good thing. Because that's all we really Honestly, if we just get in all of this, I think we'll be able to get our war. Wow. I'm, I'm surprised that none of my friends joined in. I would have expected at least a little bit of health. Not much, but just a little bit. Okay, you guys, go take out these guys. This should be enough. Yeah, I was about to say, that should be enough forces to deal with any combat. With any, with any of these guys coming in, I should be able to destroy them with my massively superior army. Yeah, these guys are gonna be much. These guys are gonna be more of a over here. I am gonna have some border skirmishes. Um, the Soviets are gonna try to come into my. Holy shoot, they move in fast. But the problem is, is that my troops are also pretty dang advanced for their age. So I just have to just wisely attack and wisely defend. Oh, never mind. These guys are. What am I doing? You guys go down there. You guys just let's go crush all these little tiny armies. You know what, I've had, I've had it with these little tiny armies for years now. This is just finally revenge for all those times that I've had to, like, um, you know, deal with their existence. And they're always, 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 no matter what I did, always be able to save their, their butts, no matter how much I tried to incite rebellion. Uh, it's finally time for me to take my revenge. Okay, that's basically what I'm saying. It's finally time for this to finally end. Okay. As long as I rationally do stuff, I should be fine. Now, Germany, why did you... You guys were evil. Okay, let's get a little bit higher relationship with these bros. I mean, it doesn't really require much. Let's get our lives back so we can get the socialists. Wow, so it was... Oh, so it was both... Both so... Wow, Germany and France are socialist. Wow, the world is just turning red. So it was both the socialists that betrayed me. Both of them drastically just said, "Yeah, we, we basically just messed you over. We don't we don't really care about you." Wow, I, I love you guys so much. I can feel the love from you guys so very much. 
Okay, you guys go hunt them down. Go, go kill them. Finish off the... This has been the main army of my contingency for years. That army right there, it has survived so much, so much, and it has annoyed me so much. So right over here we have some great British soldiers. Okay, we could probably deal with this pretty easily. I mean, I'm not... Guys, if, if you must know, they may win a couple battles, but ultimately we'll know how we <laughs> Let's be real here. I'll come up with some strange strategy to win this. This is not going to be like my death date or something like that. I mean, honestly, let's, let's be real. These guys don't really have what it takes to defeat me. And honestly, this has been my land for a while. This is, this is basically my birthright. And China, you are having major problems if you become that bad flag. I mean, major problems if you become that flag. So, yeah. I don't think, and I, as long as I don't industrialize all of South Africa, you guys are jerks. Okay. Let's invade just a little bit. <laughs> some of these guys, but yeah. Okay, so let's see. Germany, you want me blows again because you just betrayed me for like the ultimate punishment. Which I don't even know what I did. War man. Oh wait, guys, I'm sorry, but that was the end of the episode, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm trying to use this as a chance to um, do more stuff, but... Yeah, you see the battle is in, but I'm just, I already know I'm going to win this. There, there is just absolutely no doubt in my mind I'm going to win this. And I know that overcockiness can sometimes be very, very bad. But honestly, that, that's, I'll be personally and utterly real. There is no way I'm going to lose this. <laughs> I can even restore order with these guys. While we're doing a war with these guys, I can probably do restore order with those guys. Holy shoot, that is a lot of men that I am not winning against. Let's see, how's that battle going against us? Okay, we have 53 versus 98. It's probably going to be one of those major battles I'm probably going to have to send more soldiers into. So I'll go send these guys into my more advanced units to go fight them. Okay. More... More... More of them are starting to ship in, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's still losing quite nicely. Once that army down here falls, we're basically in business. Japan, you want an alliance? What? Oh, shoot. Hey, why'd you guys... I don't know what the purpose of engaging that was. But okay, I'll attack. We'll help you against Britain. So yeah. Alright, let's see. So let's see. Friends of Russia. Likelihood impossible. Okay, Japan, maybe my friend, but don't you dare be. Don't you dare think I won't call you in the war. So go have you guys go start attacking some of these guys. These armies are getting a little bit too big for me. Over there, um, over here, that army is just—I don't know how we accustomed that many troops. I'm gonna crush those guys and then actually go crush these guys and then go back up here. We're gonna win that battle first. And then where are you guys going? Bombay? You guys go right there. Yeah, let's actually start micromanaging this. Because I'm being a little bit lazy, I'll admit it. Uh, it's been a little bit of a long day if you guys haven't noticed. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, you guys didn't join in because you guys are actually feared by the British. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one thing I don't understand. You should you should be able to force your puppet state into <coughs> Yeah, look at all these battles I'm winning. Okay. You guys go this way to cross this big gigantic army right over here. That's really the last army that's standing against me and total domination over there. Okay, and the Russians are still coming in, I guess. 331 Russians. I gotta admit, that's a pretty hefty force. And you guys are also still fighting us. Let's just defeat you guys. And are you guys dead now? One. Let's see, over here, we have massively better attacks. Just this gas attacks. Also, gas attacks helps you out in so many situations. 
Alright. Alright. I just lost the battle. Probably this battle over here. Yeah. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit worried. That was the first battle I lost, though. And that was pretty much where I'm going to have to, like, do stuff. Alright. Anyways, we have some more Austrians coming in here. Alright, now Germany, please, get into my alliance. Get into my stupid bloody thing. I need you. Okay. You guys are jerks. <laughs> Let me guess. Japan, you're also not joining because you guys are also jerks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kinda knew this was gonna happen. Now the Russians are starting to annoy me. Alright. Mobilize. Now you'll see the massive ports I can upload. Upload. Because I don't mess around when it comes to hordes. Because you know what? I don't really mess around. Alright, so let's just see. Conquer Japur. Let's conquer this. Japur. There's peace. Fine. Annexation. You guys. Actually, I'm going to have you guys go down here. Go help conquer all this back. And then I'm going to have these guys just take over all this region. I don't even want to deal with them. Just take over all that region. Um, let's see. Is there any more stuff I have to kind of address? Uh, this is something I do have to address. You guys go right there. And then the mounting of the fence against over here would also be pretty fine. But, eh. Massively, once I get my massive troop, the troop deployment, and let me see that. Oh, I wasn't even fully deploying my men. Fully deploying my men. This is so game for me. Oh my goodness. Well, we have to fully deploy our men, and now that I've conquered this region right over here, send these guys up here to go help those soldiers. And uh, there we go. There's our first death stack. We're gonna divide it into like four different parts because this is way too big of an army. Okay. We're gonna go start fighting the Russians. So we can start stopping the advance. Dang these Russians are starting to annoy me now. But luckily their socialist victories are counteracting them pretty heavily. Alright. Okay, where are you guys going to Nanjing? Right when I did that, they all start moving up more. You guys go down here. Okay, you guys just go down here. Okay, we have more men coming up. Kaboom! We got these guys going right in there. Okay. Let's just use all these guys to go kill off all these men. Okay, and we have a big gigantic British troops over there. Should be defending against gas attacks too, so I'm not worried about gas attacks at all. Okay, you guys, combine with whatever forces you have. Go this way, we're gonna go take out that army over there. I don't really care about either one. Honestly. <laughs> at this point in the game, I'm just kinda like. Yeah, this part is good, and so is that part. And then you guys will all take over this part. And then we'll have you guys right over here go take out these guys right over there. Okay. Valid Nanjing. Still alive, really? Since you followed them in the Sensu. Now I'm gonna go move these guys out of here and I'm gonna send it to my one. Because I think this region over here is basically what I want to be. It's underneath rebel control, which is what I want to be under. So if it's under rebel rebel control, it will be going me as long as possible. Which is good. I don't really want to be dealing with the mighty powerful pressure anyways. Okay, so you guys get out of here. I'm gonna move you guys out of here. So that battle's obviously turning out in my favor. Where's my other man? Just retreat. That's it's not worth that battle anymore. We were, we were mass basically you guys what I'm saying is that we were massively losing that battle. There's no point in like we 
know what I mean? You're massively losing, there's no point in trying to find out about the real good. So let's get our men back. And... Yeah, now I'm feeling a little bit less sure about this battle. Mainly because my men did not join in. I almost got this entire soul state conquered. Which is a good thing. Okay, yeah, there was a gap in silence, so I need to see something. Okay, so we have... Only two men coming over here. I have to start going over there. We'll destroy some of these guys. We don't want, we don't want the soul... Soviets to gain back control of their land. That's definitely not what we want. Okay, but I gotta stop. I gotta stop acting like there was no consequence to losing any of this. Because otherwise, I'm definitely gonna lose this. You guys stay right there. I'm having more men move into your position to help you out. Okay, we almost got control of all of this part. Okay, you guys just group in and just start attacking that. Holy shit, that's an army. Group up, do this. Go right here, keep up, do this, go right here, oh, you guys go right there. I'm gonna move some of you guys over here to make sure we block the British. Alright, that should be good. Okay. Yeah, that should be definitely good. Let's do this, 